Of all the natural resources, water has become the most precious. In an age where man has forgotten his origins and is blind even to his most essential needs for survival, water, along with other resources, has become the victim of his indifference. We couldn't survive without underground water. A lot of people who don't even recognise it could not survive. Groundwater is a critical resource. It's a slow moving resource, but it's fundamental. It's something that underpins a lot of Australia and a lot of the world. We see water as the most valuable product on the face of the earth. I don't think people understand the significance of the, the Great Artesian Basin. It is a unique resource. It is the biggest underground water catchment area in the world. And once you pollute that, you can't unscramble the egg. That basin has a great deal of uh, layers of rock systems, we call them aquifers, that have water in them. And these are interlaced with coal-bearing deposits. So we're very concerned when you try to get the gas out of the coal that you will interfere with and destroy those valuable aquifers that have not only been important in the past, they're very important to us today. Without the Great Artesian Basin, we don't have the ability to water our stock, our people, our crops. We lose our ability to produce food. And that's a message that really needs to get to the city people particularly, because we're all in this together. If we can't produce food, what are you putting in the kids' lunch boxes tomorrow morning? We couldn't grow any of these crops without access to that groundwater. In the city, there's not much understanding of what happens west of the Great Divide, and just how important these aquifers are. In the city, there's this disconnect that milk comes from a carton, or the wool in your in your sweater is some magic thing that happens, and it's not. It is, it is a really hard, tough industry where people battle hard to survive. And to add this extra layer of anguish on them in terms of worries about their underground water supply, uh, I wish, I really wish the city would get more heavily involved. The property Rockdale is 800 acres. We have immediately to the north of us a gas field, used to be called Dewhurst 8 Exploration Pilot. It's now called Dewhurst 13 to 18H. Immediately to the south of us, approximately uh, three and a half kilometres, we have another gas field, uh, a pilot field, known as Dewhurst North. We sit on the eastern edge, shall we say, of the proposed Narrabah Gas Project but right in the middle of it. As the crow flies, Bibblewindy, 11 kilometres. Bohina, about 14 to 15. Leewood, about 18. The closest well is on the uh, Dewhurst 13 to 18 H. In a straight line, that would be about 1.8 kilometres from my house and my house bore. From my far bore, in a straight line, just on uh, one kilometre. Do you experience any effects from that? Well, I'll put it this way, we're not in court because we think we did our own damage to our own water. The artesian industry, our swimming pool industry, is built up on the water that comes through from about 2,000 feet down that's naturally hot. Then we also have very good stock and domestic water. The whole of Moree is, is watered by groundwater and we drink it. It's that good that we, we just drink it. It's beautiful water. In Queensland and New South Wales in particular are joined together by the Great Artesian Basin. It is one of the great wonders of the world. I toyed with the idea of having a campaign to make it a World Heritage Area and then someone said to me, but you can't see it. <laughs> it's under your feet. When you talk about the Great Artesian Basin, there's no image. It's all underground. It's hidden. Most people just don't get it. So what I wanted to do was show people what the Great Artesian Basin looks like. The rain clouds up on the right hand side and, and the way it flows down out to the west. How are they not going to wreck it? Because we know that there's no integrity when it comes to wells. It's our concern and certainly Santos has recognised that this is a risk too because in their referral to the federal government they admit that their operations here uh, at Narrabri uh, will impact on the groundwater resources of the Gunnedah Oxley Basin. 
what's to say 10, 20, 30 years down the track that we start to get signs of the chemicals that they're using that's starting to flow through into our area, then head north back up into the basin, up into Queensland. It's an unknown, it's a massive, massive experiment. To destroy a natural resource like the Great Artesian Basin system would be very, very unwise. So we need to be very careful when we're interfering with the way water flows in that basin. And you will interfere with the way water flows. Whenever you go into a cold measure and you reduce the pressure in the cold measure, of course water flows from high pressure to low pressure and must flow to where you've taken the water out. The way they deal with contaminants um, to groundwater is also very, very worrying in this document. There is a lot of uh, research now done both in the States and, and in Australia showing that methane will migrate into people's bores when you have this disturbance of the soil and disturbance of the groundwater aquifers. The data is absolutely solid, uh, you know, there is no question. That's not assessed at all in the document. I mean, just the issue of managing the long-term legacy of thousands of gas wells that could connect all sorts of layers together as they degrade is a huge legacy that the society will have to pick up and it'll be the taxpayer who'll be picking up that cost. If you damage an aquifer, there's no way you can repair it. It's damaged for good. We know there is connectivity between the Great Artesian Basin and our alluvial water sources in the Namoi, which are critical for production and uh, are relied upon by a community throughout the northwest of New South Wales. If you don't know what you're doing, if you don't know what the long-term impacts of this sort of activity is, then you should stop until you do know what they are. Because to take a risk on the aquifer is just beyond all comprehension. I just challenge Santos to give us an ironclad guarantee that they will not harm the Great Artesian Basin. If they can't, we know they will, and that's just not acceptable. People, I mean, you can't let this happen, you know, it's, it's our water, it's our only water, you know, destroy this and that's it. There's not unlimited water, there's a reservoir of water and what's in that reservoir depends what's coming in and what's going out. And we should always understand that and see the cycle of water. Probably the most important thing I learnt was listening to an Aboriginal elder up in Darwin a uh, long time ago when I was looking at water in Northern Australia. He said, John, when you think about water, check what it's doing where it is before you move it. Because it's doing something good where it is. Mm -hmm.